Hello and welcome back to the Card Jump Video Development Blog. If you missed the last video, however long ago it was, uh, there will be a link on the right hand side of the screen right about now. Um, it's been a while since I posted a video, mainly because I've been working on getting a few kind of boring things into the demo, but um, I have been making progress and things are still going ahead and um, we're getting there. It's not quite how I'd like it to be right now, but um, we're, we're getting closer to the finishing point anyway, which is uh, always a good thing. Anyway, today I just thought I'd show you some of the progress I've made with the bot, integrating it into the level and um, some of the features that I've actually implemented. Um, one thing is uh, that I'd like to make a point of in the d demo is that I think it's more interesting when bots survive for a bit longer than the average 9 seconds that they do in some games. So the bots in our level, actually, they're a bit smarter than your average ones so that they actually can survive for a bit longer. Well, at least that's the idea. So uh, what I'm going to do is... We've got a blank map at the moment, there's nothing in here, but um, I, I've just, to test out the bots, what I've been doing at the moment is I just spawn them in a particular point, um, just to see how they react to different situations. So let's just do that now, and um, uh, see what happens. Uh, I'm only going to do anything with the assault rifle at the moment, because, oh no, I'll, I'll show you the rocket launcher and the grenade as well. Um, but anyway, so here are the guys, they're just on a standard patrol route, patrolling up and down the front of the base. Um, obviously things are going to be a lot more exciting in the demo, but this is just for testing purposes at the moment. So, um, first thing I'm going to show you is what happens when I fire at a wall. So, you guys heard it, and some of them will hopefully be running over to cover, so you can see a few guys there. By the way, I've got God Mode on here. You might have noticed that one of the guys just saw me peeking around, um, just before uh, I managed to hide into cover. So now he's become alert. The rest of them were then alerted to that as well. So whereas if they, if I, if one of the guys hadn't found me, um, they would have just run straight to cover points over here. So none of this is scripted, but they would have run to some cover points that they would have found around this sort of area. But instead, because one of them saw me, ah, and one of them just put the alarm on. Um, because one of them saw me, they all ran over to my location where they thought they heard the bullet come from, the source of the bullet. Um, so now they're absolutely, you know, obviously whooping my ass if this would be in the game. But you can see they move around sort of dynamically, try to uh, cover me as much as possible, make it difficult for me to fire on them. Um, also putting the alarm on, if there were other bots in the map who were just patro on patrol routes, that alarm would then become, they would obviously hear the alarm, and then they would move to the location of the alarm. So they think, okay, what's going on? It's clearly something's happening, so they move to the alarm point, whichever one it was and uh, then go and investigate from there. So let's kill some guys, just to show you that they do actually die. So yeah, we've got standard, I hope it's not too loud, uh, standard ragdoll sort of stuff going on. Oh, that's the console popping up, excuse me. Um, that, let's, just gonna, let's just do that. So let's show you the rocket launcher in action. Uh, some of the, the spawning things are a little bit dodgy because I I don't really care about the spawn feature too much because um, uh, I, I won't be spawning the bots on the fly really unless it's you know it, uh, it will all be triggered by in-game features so if things go wrong with the spawner then uh, I won't worry about it too much so let's just fire a rocket oh that's done <laughs> that's done some damage but I wasn't accurate enough uh, I'll probably have to fix that that's a bit embarrassing but they heard that and then turned around and saw me so now I've got another can of glass but there you go that was a bit more accurate. So that's uh, taking them all out. So nice ragdoll physics in there. Um, what else? So let's get some more guys on a patrol route and let's see if I can hide a bit better. I don't know. So they're already alerted. Uh, this is another spawning error. Um, that's not too bad though. So yeah, you, you, uh, hopefully you can see what's going on. Uh, let's let's show you what happens when I run around the corner. Show that they come and find me. So here I am, hiding around the corner. They've all seen me, so they know where I've run to. And hopefully, because the alarm's on already, they're not going to bother with that. They're just going to come around the corner. And there you go. Come around the corner, found me. And now I would probably be dead if I was still here. But um, yeah, that's that's the basic features we're going to have in the demo. Like uh, They're much better at finding... They're good at finding cover points as well. Maybe I can just show you that quickly. Uh, let me just reset it. It takes a little while to reset, but... Um, I'll show you how they take cover, they're quite good at doing that. Um, uh, by the way, nothing, nothing in this is a set piece, like, um, I haven't pre-scripted any of this. They basically, they know how to find cover points, they know how to move to each of them. Um, so here's one guy I just spawned here. Let's go ahead and go and cover. 
So there you go, you see he's run to a cover point there. And now he's going to pop his head around the corner from the cover point, probably. Yeah, there we go. And he's seeing me, so he's going to... Oh my gosh, this is a bit dodgy animation there. That's okay. Okay, spawn another one. See me. Let's see what happens. He'll come around the corner. Oh, it's a bit laggy. Apologies for that. And there you go. He's, he's gone to take a cover point there. So now what will happen is that he's going to pop his head around the corner, see me, and then he'll return back to his cover point. It's not very good. But I've seen him in his cover point now, so now he's moved to other standard just shoot behavior, trying to kill me. Um, so the bots are okay. I still think they can be improved, make them a bit smarter. They're, they're quite good at sneaking up on you if you, you're trying to hide out and things like that. Um, not much time to show you that in this. But um, yeah, that's the basic bot features. I um, uh, hope you guys like what you see. Um, still a few bugs to sort out. Uh, you notice a few guys floating around a bit. Um, I've also been working on a sniper. Um, he's, he's looking pretty good at the moment now, but not quite finished. He's not... Not, uh, I'm going to work on the shooting mechanic a little bit more, but um, we're, we're getting there. The next thing will be to get the lighting in because we're going to have those big white bulbs are actually going to be moving around uh, as searchlights. And um, if you get caught in the searchlights, then this will raise alarms and things like that. And also the model will be used to decide how detectable you are. So you saw that the bots basically saw me immediately, but if I'm in a good cover position and my some of my skills are, are high enough, i.e. determined by the way I've been playing the game, um, automatically updated etc blah 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 blah, blah. Um, that will determine how well they can see me the map is going to be in darkness and it's going to be snowing so the visibility won't be so good um, so there'll be there'll be a decision making process there um, but yeah if you like what you see then um, please feel free to like the video tell me what you think and um, look forward to seeing you guys soon thanks very much